Hello YouTube, this is, this is Total R2. Yeah, returning from our PSR album model review. Yeah, today we're reviewing this Velociraptor model made by Slyke. Hmm. Yeah, because a lot of you are familiar with this animal from uh, Jurassic Park movies. Which is part of the reason why, why I pick him up. And I re really do love this you know, way Slyke paint, paint this Velociraptor model make it lo look more like the the Velociraptors from the Jurassic Park movies. Yeah, I, that's a... Yeah, a very, a very beautifully sculpted figure. Yeah, of course, those of, all, uh, those of you don't, uh, are not familiar with the real Velociraptor. Yeah, the... Mm, the Velocir uh, uh, first of all, uh, Vel uh, Velociraptor's fo uh, fossils were only found... It, in the in the Gobi Desert in Mongolia, not Wyoming, you know, like in Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah, and it, interesting with how this animal uh, was was first discovered by uh, Roy Chapman Andrews was savage. Yeah, they discovered uh, a skeleton of, of a velociraptor and. A horned dinosaur known as Protoceratops actually engaged in battle, and the animals who died, yeah, or or the, or the sickle, mm, have, have gored the, uh, uh, the the Protoceratops stomach, which the animal died, but the but the, on the Protoceratops got its sharp, you know, beak, you know, to to its chest. Yeah, uh, and the, and the Velociraptor itself died uh, with the hooks. You know, with, with the Velociraptor's meat hooks still hooked on, still, still clinged on to the Velociraptors, and the animal you know, both died together. Uh, which really was one one of the greatest mm, uh, mm, uh, finds in pe uh, paleontology history. Yeah, actually seeing uh, two uh, a dinosaur, uh, predator and prey actually battling, like a uh, 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 a pet, oh uh, prehistoric, uh, photograph, uh, uh, of uh, of an event that actually happened. Yeah, and uh, this uh, this animal, yeah, yeah. To me, I'm a big, I'm a huge fan of these. Uh, no, these raptors, you know, sickle like claw dinosaurs, also really, uh, uh really called, uh, dromaeosaurids, you know, the scientific words. Yeah, so the, you know, the, uh, these, uh, cause I always picture the, uh, these animals, uh, hunting in large packs, you know, perhaps as many as 10 or 20, you know, just like wolves, you know, do today. Pa uh, capable of bringing down dinosaurs much larger than themselves. Now, can't now Vel uh, Velociraptor uh, li uh, lived here, and the name means you know, fast stealer. They lived in the uh, there in the Cretaceous period, about eighty million years ago. Yeah, uh, uh, in the go uh, uh, in Mong uh, uh, in Mo uh, in the region uh, was now Mongolia. Uh, yeah, in, in dinosaur time, Mongolia was ki was kind of a mixture of, of of desert to rainforest to scrubland. Uh, so, uh, so the Velociraptor w was adapted to mm, probably adapted to uh, to survive in all three uh, all three uh, terrain, all three habitats. Yeah, uh, yeah, and, th and these are these are very very lethal predators. They yeah, uh, have very, very nice sharp teeth in their jaws. No, but about the teeth themselves, uh, you know, are too uh, far too long to kill any dinosaurs. But that, uh, thankfully, Velociraptors had these uh, these meat hooks for uh, on its uh, fingers and its toes and. and yeah, and of course he's a uh, lethal looking sickle claws, which probably would have been a slash and di mm, yeah, disavow prey or even just 
Yeah, uh, slash them, cause it, cause the animal to breathe to death. He also had this long, this long, uh, straight up tail, uh, which help, which helps lots of raptor, uh, yeah, uh, uh, ba uh, balance on its two legs. And this animal probably could run up to fifty or sixty miles per hour. Interesting, well, if if a, even if it clings on prey. Uh, clings on a large dinosaur. The, uh, this tail could also help, you know, help keep it balanced. While, while yeah, he could keep it balanced while while he's uh, using those claws to, you know, using all his claws trying to uh, rip, uh, you know, rip dinosaur flesh, trying to kill it, uh, uh, trying to kill it. Uh, yeah, and a couple, ma a couple major differences between the real Velociraptor and the and the one portrayed in the movies is that in the in the movies the animal was actually six was six feet tall. You know, but in reality, Velociraptor was only you know, three, uh, four or five, uh, four feet tall. Yeah, about the size of a four year old. Yeah, not uh, not a very big dinosaur. But uh, but even the. Uh, and this one, this animal is mainly specialized on small, small or medium size, no, uh, predator, uh, uh, dinosaurs like you know, Protoceratops, which is probably most like its main source of prey. As you can see, uh, paleontologists found skeletons of Protoceratops, uh, you know, teeth and claw marks. Uh, so they know uh, they know that they've been, they've been hunted by this predator. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but they don't uh, don't necessarily have to rely on uh, packs because uh, because a single Velociraptor uh, is, is fully capable of killing a Protoceratops on, uh, by itself. Oh, oh. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so yeah, but about working as a team, they can uh, they can easily bring, uh, bring down even larger dinosaurs. No, uh, like uh, like uh, Sachinia, for example, yeah, which is an armored dinosaur that lived in uh, uh, Mongolia. You can see, uh, as you can see, as uh, uh, Sachinia is a large dinosaur. Yeah, you can see these two models are actually out of scale, which I don't like. But anyways, these uh, uh, Sachinia uh, Velociraptor is actually uh, much smaller. Onto his uh, legs, yeah. But that's the perfect size to attack this animal, cause yeah, even though it has armor, uh, uh, his ar his armor is only a t uh, protects the top of his body. Lots of raptors could uh, could reach underneath, uh, and attack and attack his vulnerable un underbelly. Yeah, uh, all of them just uh, swarm uh, uh, to each side of the other dinosaur. Yeah, they'll just claw, uh, they'll claw it and bite it to death so uh, it'll start bleeding, uh, start bleeding out. And of course, be, uh, of course, they're clinging on their body means uh, they are out, they are completely out of reach of the uh, of the uh, Sachania's bony club. Yeah, they, yeah, they'll just gore, uh, they'll just gore, uh, gore it to death. No, then they'll kill it. Yeah, so if uh, yeah, Los Raptor was a perfect predator to take, the, uh, take down the small moving armored dinosaurs. Yeah, but uh, about the recent discovery of the of Los Raptor is it, that they actually found fossils of it uh, covered with feathers. It was feathers on its arms. I can see on this model right here. Although some some paleontologists get uh, think that feathers uh, cover the uh, you know, uh, whole Velociraptor is covered with feathers, you know, like a bird. But really, pro uh, probably the only the arms are covered with feathers. Yeah, but the uh, but discovery of Velociraptor having feathers really got. Uh, got you know, paleontologists are so excited they immediately uh, start pitching almost it, uh, every carbonaceous dinosaur. 
you know, having feathers from like Oviraptor to you know to Tarvasaurus that causing a T Rex uh, even Tarvas even Tarvasaurus Rex was picture here you know, having uh, feathers. Yeah, which is kind of ridiculous, but under me, uh, although some, I think some, only some dinosaurs had feathers. And the others were just normal reptilian-looking dinosaurs that we're familiar with. Yeah, to me, the, these feathers are, are useless to hunting. Yeah, mainly because they they will they would be brightly colored. They will not be. Uh, yeah, it will stick. It will use this for camouflage, and it will slow this uh, animal speed down, which, which for a Velociraptor it means a lot, because uh, because when it comes to speed, streamline is ever you need to be as streamlined as possible. So, I think uh, I think this these feathers mainly used for uh, these are courtship feather. No, these are these are the Velociraptor's breeding plumage. Because after all, we saw um, so many bird species but today have blade plumage like Turk, uh, like male to see, yeah, you know, kind of like, uh, turkey finish. Yeah, you know, what the, uh, what the, uh, what the, the uh, tail feathers, uh, uh, grow, uh, with the extra feathers grow on its tail. No, that, uh, that, uh, that's only for attracting females. Uh, and that's what uh, that's, that's the reason why uh, Velociraptor's feathers will uh, work the same way. Uh, for o or only the male you know, Velociraptors had uh, had the you know, grew feathers. Yeah, to uh, to attract females. Yeah, the uh, the male Velociraptors will, uh, will, would gather in large groups. You know, try trying to uh, yeah, they would dance, trying to show off their Beautiful plumage like the modern uh, bird of paradise. Yeah, yeah, they'll show, they'll show off, the, they'll quickly dance, show off their, their beautiful uh, feathers. Look, how beautiful I am to impress the girls. Yeah, and also perhaps uh, tent, uh, intimidate males, male, uh, other male velociraptors, and other carpine. Yeah, and, and and the Velociraptor, uh, and, uh, the be uh, best, most beautiful uh, display, yeah, uh, will uh, will uh, will get the female's attention, yeah, and she can mate. Uh, but at, about during the breeding season, well, all, uh, about during the breeding season is over, yeah, you know, these uh, feathers are shed, uh, will shed off. Yeah, they're becoming uh, more uh, normal-looking dinosaurs. Uh, get ready to hunt. Well, well, when the feathers are out, yeah, they don't uh, they don't hunt. Yeah, because because uh, our main is the male's main focus is to attract females to is mating. Uh, they all pet. Nah, the food is a le uh, less thing on this uh, this animal nine right now. And uh, and yeah, and this this uh, astonishing huge commitment, uh, it, it, it is what the female wants uh, to have a best, you know, strong as male, pass out as genes who give her young the greatest chance of survival. Of course, some males could fail and could end up dying of starvation, in a star uh, starving to death. But this is a uh, Perhaps uh, the fat sacrifice these animals are willing to make. So uh, yeah, there's more uh, more to this. Uh, there's more to this animal than us uh, than us uh, killing dinosaurs. Uh, it's bloodthirsty animal. There's actually uh, there's probably a much more uh, most beautiful sensitive side to to these rare, to these animals. And I think uh, the third uh, Jurassic Park movie has shown it. Shown Velociraptor being a more a caring parent rather than a, a vicious monster. So so yeah and it, yeah that's pretty much it for the model for the animal. 
Let's talk about the model itself, I guess. Really, really, this is a very beautifully sculpted fi uh, figure, and a real, and very, and very, has a very nice uh, texture to it. I mean, if you f uh, if you feel like a every if you were handling like a real lizard, like a yeah, you know, like an iguana, yeah, uh, that uh, it has the same. This velociraptor has very, uh, a similar texture, like you're actually feeling. A real animal, I and mean, I really do lo oh, love that. Yeah, yeah, and, and this capture, and it capture it as detail it, uh, very beautifully. Yeah, even got some. Yeah, got, uh, you, got, you can see some nice detail in the tail. One thing to like uh, the uh, you can see this top of the tail, you know, look like uh, a scar at the end. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, like it's been been bitten by another, you know, velociraptor in a fight. Yeah, mm, fair, uh, uh, very, a uh, very, uh, very good detail. Because you know, like I say, he's been nicely, beautifully painted, similar to the velociraptors in the movies. You know, with the grays and kind of like uh, green stripes, would perfect for you know, blending in the rainforest. Yeah, and right, and if you look at the shape of his head, you can see uh, a a, re a wonderfully beautiful, uh, uh, painted eye. You know, and you see the pupil and the little uh, iris around. Oh, very nice, and you got a nice sculpted hmm. yeah, eye sockets. Yeah, nice nasal cavity. Also, you got little tiny spines on the head. Yeah, and of course, one of the only feature is that uh, the model can actually uh, uh, open and close, much like the much like an Allosaurus model. No, but one thing I do like when you open this mouth, this jaw, you can see the little tendons or the the little inner cheek, uh, little tendons that will, that uh, that hold the jaws in place. Yeah, you can see the uh, see the tendons, and also you can see the tongue. Uh, this little long reptilian tongue, and you can see nice detail uh, on the roof of the mouth, and the and the jaw and the jaw and the teeth and cells look really painted like a real animal. They look, uh, they look uh, like some of them have been worn out and have to be in use, whereas uh, carnivorous dinosaurs. Yeah, like lots of raptor, uh, will, will lose their teeth and replace them. Uh, that's like uh, crocodiles. Yeah, and uh, not, uh, as for the body itself, you got nice. Uh, yeah, I got nice you know, detail work around the neck. You see, you can see the muscles and also veins uh, and arteries inside there. Yeah, you can see some in the body. Yeah, of course you got, uh, of course the claws. Yeah, of course you got the feathers. One, uh, one, of course one major complaint. Another major complaint I do have of this model. I wish these feathers on his arms would have been painted. I mean, it's, uh, I mean just having a gray, you know, like this, this makes it look, uh, terrible. Yeah. I mean, I mean, to me, to, uh, to me I would like to see some, uh, Oh, beautifully paint uh, like uh, rainbow colors. Uh, like I said, they're uh, probably used for uh, these were the Velociraptor's brain plumage. Yeah, yeah, they're only there temporarily. Yeah, so yeah, either uh, to me it's either. Uh, I mean, it's good they uh, they mold them in, but as yeah, uh, if you uh, at least paint them. Otherwise, it's, uh, don't mold them at all. That's. Uh, make the arms, uh, uh, let's leave the feathers out. Yeah, otherwise, it just looks stupid with, with us, uh, dull gray feathers that matches the skin, which looks terrible to me. Yeah, but, okay, this, uh, the claws, no, uh, the hands, very, uh, very nicely sculpted. You can see some movement on, on these claws. 
If you look underneath, you can see uh, inside his hands. Yeah, and the feet, you know, the legs, you know, very nicely sculpted. Here you can see a little skin fold, and also you can see the, the calf muscle. No, oh, very, very beautifully. Yeah, and you can see that's you know, uh, these claw. Yeah, the set, uh, the sickle like claw does not look, uh, look like a velociraptor well, claw to me. Also, well, although, pro probably there's a reason for it. They want to make it sharp and poker and, uh, yeah, end up cutting a kid. Uh, so there's probably our safety reasons. Yeah, and, and all and all and all these claws are actually made out of soft rubber. So, yeah, so you press them, they're not gonna you know, hurt you. Anything. Yeah. So, but uh, but if but if you had this figure, you got uh, that's another thing you gotta, yeah had to be careful of because these are soft rubber, so that means they could, you know, they could bend, yeah, you know, or or even break. If uh, if you're pressing them too too hard, yeah, of course not too clot. Yeah, but yeah, this is a very uh, uh, really this is a very not this is a very beautifully sculpted figure. Couple uh, couple of complaints: one, it, it's at scale because really this animal should have been made much smaller, you know, than it was. And what's the what's the what had had some paint apps. Uh, on the feathers, yeah, to to, have, uh, to make them show a little bit more. No, but but other than that, this is uh, this is really a great figure. The detail, uh, uh, the amount of detail uh, of this figure really makes it a little like a scale. Yeah, plus if you're, plus if you're not if you're not going to display them, plus it's from Mongolia. If you're if you're going to get a you no know, proloceratops, hopefully Slack will make one. Now yeah, be up here, Th then yeah, then the animal will be perfect in scale. No, uh, so so what we can see tells like a get a get a, a protoceratops model, mm, uh, to go with him. Yeah. <sighs> but until then, I I, I highly recommend you pick uh, pick this figure up. Yeah, uh, if you really want a good quality. Uh, Velociraptor model, even uh, even for Jurassic Park, because yeah, because uh, yeah, this uh, uh, this model for Jurassic Park fans, this model actually works. Yeah, if you're displaying them with your mm, GI Joes, and all uh, some people do, do customized GI Joe figures, make them look like could make them look like a the Jurassic Park characters. Uh, so yeah, this uh, this model works. Yeah, it works for that. Yeah, so yeah, high, uh, high recommend you get this, you know, get this figure. Yeah, and that's the main thing for my or for this video view on Velociraptor. Like this video, please drop me a description. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.